If you want to excel in maths and science, then do click on the link given in our description box and visit on the website of Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya and do enroll on our Don't Memorize course which you can avail up to 90% discount. Here you can enhance your maths and science skills with the help of our conceptual videos, flashcards for quick revision, mock test as per latest pattern of your exams with 24 into 7 doubt clearance sessions with the facility of masterclass. To get extra 10% discount in addition, you can use our coupon code that is NT10. So for more details, check out the link given in our description box. Hello friends, so in this video, we will be covering our topic of electrolysis of water in which we will first understand it with the help of an experiment that is of heating of calcium carbonate and testing the gas mainly which we get with the help of burning a matchstick. Then we will cover heating of lead nitrate and emission of nitrogen dioxide. And at last we will cover our electrolysis of water. So let's begin this session with our first topic. So our first topic is mainly decomposition of reaction. So friends for this we have to do an experiment that will show us the decomposition reaction. So here we have taken a pinch of calcium carbonate and calcium carbonate is also known as limestone. So you can see here it is being boiled in a boiling tube by a burner. In case of a burner you can also take a sprint lamp. After burning calcium carbonate here we will get a gas which will be delivered through this delivery tube. So here we will get a white color gas which will be coming through this delivery tube and if you will bring a burning matchstick near to the mouth of this delivery tube. Your matchstick will put off. So why this happened? Can you guess here which gas it can be as it is behaving like a fire extinguisher gas. So which was the gas we use in a fire extinguisher? So it will be our carbon dioxide gas. So you have just seen that on heating calcium carbonate, it decomposes to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So friends, whenever in a chemical reaction, our reactant sites breaks down into two or more products will be known as a decomposition reaction, which we are seeing in this experiment as calcium carbonate has been broken down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Here calcium carbonate and calcium oxide are solids and the gas we have just got after this decomposition is carbon dioxide. So I am recalling this once again for you all that in a chemical reaction when one reactant breaks down into two or more product that reaction will be known as your decomposition reaction. And one thing more friends here, whenever a decomposition reaction will be carried out by heating, it will be also known as thermal decomposition reaction. So friends, here is one more example that will be showing us about the decomposition reaction. It is about decomposition lead nitrate. So for this, we have to take approximately 0.5 grams of lead nitrate powder in a boiling test tube as you can see in this figure hold the boiling tube with a test tube holder so this will be our boiling tube and we are burning this lead nitrate so after heating this lead nitrate will decompose to lead oxide oxygen and nitrogen dioxide and you will see that brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide are evolved. So this experiment is also showing us the decomposition reaction as here this lead nitrate is being heated by this burner in a boiling tube and this brownish thing that you are seeing here is lead nitrate which is being here decomposes to lead oxide and oxygen. So this is the brown content we are getting here is our nitrogen dioxide in the jar. So what will be the molecular formula for this? So as we have seen here, it is a decomposition reaction and whenever a decomposition reaction is being carried out by heating, it will be also known as thermal decomposition reaction. So here is the molecular formula which we have just got with the help of that experiment that lead nitrate is being decomposes to lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So here is our main topic of this video is electrolysis of water. So firstly, what do we mean by electrolysis of water? So before understanding the definition of this electrolysis of water, we need to first understand this experiment, which will mainly help us to understand the basic definition of electrolysis of water. For this, we have to take a plastic mug, then we have to drill two holes at its base. So here you can see here 
that we have make two holes here then fit two one hole rubber stoppers on these holes this brownish thing is your these are your graphic electrodes which was fitted in the rubber stoppers so here you can see this this positive terminal is our anode and negative terminal is our cathode and these both are attached here with a 9 watt battery then we have to fill this mug with the water so that the electrodes are immersed these are the electrodes it should be immersed immersed means basically it should be below the level of water then in this water we have to add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid then we have to cover this electrodes with two test tubes and we will see that the water will be filled in both these test tubes then we have to switch on the current and leave the apparatus undisturbed for the some time so basically whenever we switch on this then the electrodes will start generating heat in both these test tubes and after some time we will see that some bubbles will be appearing on both these test tubes and once the test tubes are filled with gas take out them carefully so here you can see that in this test tube which is connected to our negative terminal we are getting hydrogen and on positive side we are getting oxygen so what does it showing us here so in the above activity as you can see here that as we passes the electricity water disassociates to hydrogen and oxygen and this is called electrolytic composition reaction so what will be the main definition of electrolysis of water remember friends electrolysis of water is also known as electrochemical water splitting technique so in electrolysis of water whenever we use electricity to decompose water into oxygen as well as hydrogen gas with the help of electrolysis and this whole process is known as electrolysis of water as we have just seen here that water disassociates to hydrogen and oxygen and here is a chemical reaction of this electrolysis of water so i hope friends all the concept of this video is clear to you all so see you all in our next video till then take care have a nice day